Hi everyone! Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute glute workout. I am going to add in ankle weights as an option, however if you don't have them or if you don't want to use them today that is absolutely fine. I am telling you now you will still feel an incredible burn just using your own body weight. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mat and we will get started. So coming down into a seated position in the middle of your mat, we will start in a cross leg position as always. So roll the shoulders away from your ears, lengthen through the crown of your head, really sitting up nice and tall and then closing down the eyes. We'll start by connecting to the breath, connecting to the core and then we will get going. So taking a big deep breath in through the nose, and then exhaling out through the mouth. Again, inhale. And exhale out through the mouth. This time as you inhale, really make sure you're breathing into the side of the rib cage. And then exhale, feeling the rib cage contracting back in. On this next one, take a big deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale out through the mouth, start to draw the belly button back towards your spine. Again, inhale. And exhale, belly button back towards your spine, start to connect into your centre. Keep going at that at your own pace. Just slowing everything down, slowing your mind down bringing your mind to this present moment, being really mindful of your body, being really mindful of the movement you're making today, really coming into yourself, so getting out of your head and into your body. And then whenever you're ready, slowly start to open the eyes. We'll take one last deep breath together. So inhale, lift the hands up overhead, breathing in all that positive energy. Interlink the fingers, push the hands away from you. And then exhale anything that isn't serving you today. Okay, grabbing the ankle weights, just popping them to one side. And then coming down to lay on your back. We'll just take a full body stretch to start with. So stretching the hands overhead, legs away from you. Really lengthening out through the entire body. Taking an inhale and exhale. Good work. Okay, placing the hands down by your side, bringing your feet in towards your glutes. Feet are parallel, hip distance apart. We'll start by warming up through the glutes. So you're going to tilt your pelvis up, rolling your spine up into your shoulder bridge, really pushing out through your heels. Try and close that gap between your ribs and your hips, really drawing into your abdominals. And then slowly roll yourself all the way back down, one vertebra at a time, really articulating through the spine. Good work. Again, roll the hips up, one vertebra at a time, coming off the mat, pushing out through your heels, squeezing the glutes at the top, and just hold it here. Make sure all the weight is through your heels. We're gonna start by lowering the hip down an inch. Lift and squeeze. Lower and lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. Just activating the muscles here. You got it. Still focusing on that core connection. Inhale down, exhale to lift just five more. For four, three, two, last one, hold. If you have those ankle weights, I want you to grab them now. And I want you to just place one on each hip for me. If you don't have them, just pretend that you have something heavier on your hips. Add that extra resistance in. We're gonna do the same thing again. So you lower the hips down, lift and squeeze, lower. And lift, really pushing up through your heels. You got it. Six more. For five. 
four, three, two, last one, hold. I want you to float your left heel off the mat, so on the ball of your left foot, we go again, lower the hips down, lift, lower, and lift, you're here for eight, seven, try not to dip into that lower back, keep the ribs and hips connected in, four more, you can do it, for three, two, Last one, hold the hips lifted. I want you to flare that left knee out, bring it in. Flare it out, bring it in. Just staying on that left side. You can do it. Yes, guys, keep it going. Five more. For four, three, two, last one, hold. We're gonna add both of those together now. So you lower the hips, lift, flare the knee out, bring it in lower down, lift, flare it out, and in. Really getting into that left glute, isolating that muscle, lower, lift, flare, and in. Three more here. You can do it for two. Last one, and lower that left heel down. Keep the hips lifted, really challenge yourself. We're gonna go onto the right side now. So floating that right heel off, coming onto the ball of your right foot. You lower the hips and lift, lower and lift. Again, connecting into your center. Inhale down, exhale, lift, four more. For three, two, Last one, hold. You're gonna flare that right knee out, bring it in, flare it out, bring it in. I don't know about you guys, my glutes are already burning, <laughs> which is a good sign. So it just means we're working hard already. Out and in, four more here, then we put them two together for three, two, last one, hold. We add those two together so you know with the hips. Lift, flare that knee out, and in, lower. Lift, flare it out, and in. Use your breath to help you. Four more. For three, two, last one, hold. You're gonna float both heels off now. I just want you to give me tiny lifts to finish. So lift and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels down, roll the spine all the way down. Just place those ankle weights to one side for a second and just rock from side to side. Good work, guys. Okay, moving on. If you have the ankle weights, I want you to pop them on now. So popping them round your ankles. And then you're gonna to come to lay on your left side. So you can come lay all the way down if you have sore wrists or option is to come up into your... So your head is in your hands. Well, I can't talk today. <laughs> That bottom leg is gonna to come to a 90 degree angle. That top leg is pushing away from you. Flexing through that foot, placing either the hand down or challenge hand comes behind the head. As I said, push that top hip away from you. Create a tiny gap underneath your waist. You're gonna lift that leg up, lower down. Lift and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower down. Getting into the side of the glutes now. <sighs> Try not to flare through the ribs. So if you feel like you're flaring through the ribs, tuck your ribs down in towards your hips. Make sure everything is knitted in together. Belly button back towards your spine. <sighs> if this ever feels slightly uncomfortable with your leg directly out to the side, you can float it forward to a diagonal if that feels more comfortable on your hip. <sighs> yes, guys, keep it going. Just four more. For three, two, last one, hold, point through the toe, give me tiny circles back. What would a glute session with me 
be with outside lying circles. I feel like it just never, never happens. <sighs> Hold that core nice and strong. Five more, then we'll reverse for four, three, two, one hold and reverse. If you do need that extra stability, you can place your hand down. Focus on the form rather than challenging yourself too much that you then end up not doing the right, correct technique and then you're feeling it in the wrong places. You got it, four more, four, three, two, one hold. You're gonna flex through that foot, you're gonna bring your knee in extend away squeeze the glute at the back bring it in extend try not to fall into that hip as you bring the knee in extend bring that knee in and as you bring that knee in really draw into your lower abdominals and then squeeze that glute on the way back yes guys keep it going five more here for four three two Last one, hold that leg extended, point through the toe, float that leg forward, turn the knee and the toe down to the mat, just give me tiny little lifts for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drop that knee down, tap it out, good work guys. Same thing on the other side. So flipping yourself onto your right side body, coming down, again if you have sore wrist you can come all the way down, if not head can stay in your hands. Bottom leg is coming to a 90 degree angle, so your shin should be in line with the front of the mat. Pushing that top hip away from you, creating a tiny gap under your waist. Again, challenge, hand comes behind the head, or option is to keep your hand down on the mat. Flex through your foot, you're going to lift that top leg up lower down, lift and lower, use your breath to help you here, exhale to lift, inhale lower down, smiling through it, smile through the burn, we're not here for long, it's just a quick and effective 20 minutes and then you're all done. Keeping that foot flexor, really pulling the toes in towards the body. Just three more here. You can do it for two. Last one, hold, point through the toe, give me tiny circles backwards. Keep that core nice and strong, try not to rock backwards and forwards. You got this, power through. Five more here for four, three, two, one, hold and reverse. So circles forward this time. Really push down on that left leg to keep you stable. You got it, just six more for five, four, three, two, one, hold. You're gonna flex through that foot, you're gonna bring the knee into the chest extend away bring that knee in pull into those lower abdominals as you come in and extend squeeze the glute on the way back <sighs> try not to drop into that hip as you bring the knee in keep that hip where it is <sighs> again use your breath to help you four more here yes guys keep it going for three two Last one, hold that leg extended, point through the toe, sweep that foot forward. Turn the knee and the toe down towards the mat, give me tiny pulses up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drop that knee down. Tap it out, good work everyone. Okay, no time to waste. Flipping up onto all fours. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. If you need to and you have sore wrists, you can come down onto your forearms. You're gonna extend that left leg back, point through the toe. You're gonna exhale, lift the leg up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift. 
inhale tap it down make sure that your hips are parallel to the mat we don't want to be opening up through that hip keeping that hip parallel to the mat yes guys keep it going five more here really squeeze that glute at the top for four three two last one hold that leg lifted flex through that foot bring the knee in we're going to go into our donkey kicks so you tap the knee down and lift tap it down and lift keep those ribs lifted try not to dip into that lower back slow and controlled movement here pushing out through the palms of your hands pushing out of your shoulders looking towards the edge of your mat nice long spine squeeze the glute at the top four more you can do it for three two last one hold that leg lifted i want to drop down onto your right forearm i'm going to lower that knee down then you're going to lift up to your donkey your fire hydrant should i say not your donkey kick tap it down lift and lower just staying on that one side opening up through that hip flex through the foot you got it just four more for three try not to use momentum two last one hold it lifted you're going to extend that leg away now he's going to give me tiny little lifts up and up for eight seven six five four three two one and drop that knee down open the knees nice and wide push back into a child's pose just take a second and then we're going to come on to the other side so i'm just going to flip myself around so you can see again hands underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hips if you do have sore wrists you can come down onto your forearms and then you're going to extend that right leg long so make sure that your hip is dropping down towards the mat really lengthen out through the entire leg here you're gonna exhale lift inhale tap it down exhale lift inhale lower keep those ribs lifted try not to fling that leg up nice and slow and controlled really squeeze that glute at the back you got it five more here for four three two last one hold flex through that foot bring the knee in we go into those donkey kicks so you lower the knee down lift and squeeze lower and lift again keep those ribs lifted inhale down exhale lift six more here for five four three you got it keep it going for two last one hold that knee lifted drop down onto your left forearm i'm going to drop that knee down open up to your fire hydrant lower down lift and lower exhale lift inhale lower down you might start to feel this in your supporting leg we fatigued the other side so this side always feels slightly harder the second side always feels slightly harder should i say it's because we've fatigued that supporting leg so it always feels so much harder you can do it four more for three two last one hold that leg lifted you're going to extend that leg away point through the toe open up through the hip give me tiny pulses to finish this is your last thing here then we stretch pulse and pulse for eight seven six five four three two one and drop that knee down push back into a child's pose well done everyone really sending your glutes down into the mat and then coming up into a seated position taking off those ankle weights if you have them on just pop them to one side and then 
I'm gonna face the side just so you can see. But we need to cross your right ankle over your left thigh, come into your figure four position. So if I twist round, you can see coming into that figure four position, really pushing out through the palms of your hands, pushing that knee into your chest, feeling a nice stretch through the glutes. If this is uncomfortable, and doesn't feel like it's stretching you out, you can come up into a very similar position. So sitting both sit bones down, just hug that knee in, twist towards your knee, you should still feel that nice stretch through the glutes. So whichever option feels most comfortable for you, just really stretching out that glute. And then switching sides. So your left heel is coming over your right thigh, sitting up nice and tall, Again, if it feels more comfortable, you can come into a seated position, bring that knee into your chest, twisting towards that leg. Again, you should still feel that twist and stretch through the glutes. And then coming into a seated position, we will finish class as always with one last deep breath. So just taking an inhale, lifting the hands up overhead, Breathing in all that positive energy from today's class. And then exhale, bring the hands down through heart centre. And you are all done. Amazing work, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this quick and effective spicy glute workout. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so we can work out together again. And hopefully I will see you on the mat again very soon.